All right, so this, this is Jalopy. It's about driving your uh, Trabant across kind of uh, old world Europe. I'm trying to think maybe of roughly what year it could be. It's like when there's borders and there's border crossings and all that. And this car was very popular. It's a very simple car. It's a car with a two-stroke engine that you have to mix oil into it. These are real cars. I, again, know about them from watching Hat Films do their videos on a Trabant, so... You had a long phone call. Did it destroy the city? Yeah. Meteor struck. Knocked the whole thing over. <laughs> exactly what happened. Alright, so we'll do a new game, which is kind of shows the tutorial and everything. So yeah, the game is currently in beta. This means that you can complete the game from start to finish, but bug fixes, optimizations, and minor changes are still coming. If you have fun, and please keep in mind that this is a work in progress. So yes, we'll go ahead. We'll do the tutorial so you guys can see. So I played this some um, a little bit over the weekend to try to familiarize myself with it. It's really neat. I enjoyed it. Also, over the weekend, I tried to. Oh, yeah, here we go. Wake up! Wake up! Ah, awake, finally! Mm, stay in bed any longer, and the day will make fools of us both. Hey, Uncle. Come now, I've got something important to show you. Come, come, it's just outside. I want to know honestly why I'm sleeping in a garage. Oh, here we go. You can buy storage. I've got a hundred bucks on me. <clears throat> I still don't know how to... Oh, middle click. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is, uh... Man, June 1990. 1990? Really? This would be 1990? I guess it would be. Yeah, I guess 1990 would still be the year where this kind of stuff was going on. Hmm. Thought it'd been a little bit further back, but I guess not. <laughs> Here is a, lock, a Leica 601 Deluxe. Something of an legendary legend of the GDR. 0 to 60 kilometers an hour in 22.5 seconds. Top speed of 100 kilometers an hour at an economical rate of 9 kilometers per liter. That is, if we can get her running. Not to worry of everything ready. We'll just need to build her, build her an engine, slap on some wheels, Fit the passenger side door and give her a bit of a clean. So let's get started. Fit the replacement door. That's over the, the scrap heap behind you. If you squint, you'll be able to see it. Alright, click. Let's me do that. Woo, woo, woo. <clears throat> Alright. So we get the door. Uh. Doesn't match the paint, paint job, Uncle, but I guess, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Less than elegant, but it's on. Right, now let's fit the engine. If you open the driver's side door, you see a black latch. Pull that and it will release the bondage. It's not a black latch. That is not a black latch. Can you see it? It's a black latch. Should just be under the steering wheel. There you go. That's it. Got it. Okay, now open the bonnet and we can walk you through this. Well, Uncle, there's not a goddamn thing in there. So as you can see, she needs an engine. We've got a load of stock parts in the garage. Go collect and I'll walk you through what it does. Here we go. Right, so here we go. Stock everything. This game is creeping out. It does look a little bit creepy in some ways. The parts are sat in the garage. Go collect one and we can start building the engine. It's a stock engine. 100 kilometers an hour, top speed. 
It's got some weight to it. Small two-stroke engine with two cylinders. All right. Well, let's go put her in. Uncle's got no face. He's got a bit of a face. The engine block you got there. It's the core of the Lakia setup. L like a setup. Like a setup. The engine block defines core performance of your Lakia, including top speed and acceleration. The poorly kept engine block will mean your Lakia will struggle to perform. Go ahead, drop in, drop it into the engine. Bonk. Well, there we go. So we get another part. Yeah, it lo it looks kind of creepy just because it's simple graphics, but it's actually quite good. Oh, fuel tank. <laughs> that big lump of metal is a fuel tank, which holds fuel of your life. A few notes on this one. First of all, it's gravity fed, so you need to open the bonnet and fill to fill directly uh, to fill directly to the tank when refueling. This is actually true. Again, I've seen them do a. Uh, Bent. And actually the one that Hat Films got actually didn't have a fuel gauge on it. It had two tanks on it that you could swap. But yeah, it didn't have a fuel gauge on it, so you didn't know when the fuel was going to run out. <laughs> also, you're like it was running a two-stroke engine. This means you want to mix some oil into the fuel mixture. <laughs> Fair to mix oil into the fuel will mean the engine won't be lubricated and will wear to at an increased rate. Too much oil, though, and you'll start to see a performance drop. <laughs> Keep your fuel tank well-maintained. I get too beaten up and it will start leaking fuel everywhere. <laughs> Go ahead, drop it into the end. So yeah, there's our fuel tank. There's no oil in it, and it's got a liter of fuel in it. There we go. Stock air filter. Okay, you're holding the air filter, a non-essential component. The air filter isn't necessarily required to run your Lanker, but is a good idea to have one to reduce rate and wear of your engine block. Go ahead, drop into the engine. So yeah, it just keeps, you know, particles out of your engine. Which can wear down. You don't want grit in your engine, right? Carburetor. <laughs> That's a carburetor which controls fuel consumption of the car, which in turn controls how many kilometers per liter you get out of your Lakia. Lakia. Like, yeah. I keep trying to say Lakia. Yeah. A good, well maintained carburetor means you'll use less fuel and can drive further for cheaper. Thunk. There we go. Probably doesn't help that it's nighttime, too. Of course, daytime. Day and night don't actually look that different. Battery. <sighs> My nose keeps itching, sorry. Mm -hmm. so that's the battery, which provides electric charge for you, like you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Battery allows you to use lights, the radio, the car ignition, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. If you like it won't start, the first place to check is the battery. Mm -hmm. I can't actually pick up more than one thing at a time, but. For the sake of this. That's the water tank for, for provides water to help keep your windscreen clean from dirt. Keep it in good condition or it'll leak water and you'll soon find yourself driving without any vision. Okay. And the last piece, ignition coil. That little thing is the ignition coil. The ignition coil channels an electric charge to start the engine. The ignition coil in a bad condition may struggle to start the engine. Go ahead and drop it into the engine. Okay, that's everything installed. Good job. Now, to fill her up. Uh, we're getting nowhere without fuel. There should be something. Clean fuel. We need to fill the car with petrol, oil, water. <laughs> Go ahead and collect them all and I'll walk you through refueling your car. You lived in a junkyard the first 12 years of your life. You have no idea how to fix anything. Your dad did show you. <clears throat> your dad did show me sounds to look out for and why it sounds like that. <clears throat> I don't know much about it. I can do some basic maintenance on cars. I can change a tire, I can change oil, I can change air filters. 
I could change like headlights and fuses. But like fixing an engine block. I've changed brakes on a car before. Uh, I'll never do that again. And I've changed struts on a car before. I'll never do that again either. It was more trouble than it was worth. <clears throat> all right, fuel can. Here we go. We'll just pick. We'll pick it all up because we can carry it all. We can carry three things at once. Good. That's a can of fuel you're holding there. Use that on the fuel cap and the fuel tank. Just install, then you begin filling the fuel, the, filling the car with fuel. Go ahead and drop that when you're done with it. That's two stroke oil you've got in your hands. Want to add a drop of it to improve your fuel mixture, which affects things like performance and engine wear. A lean mixture will result in a faster car will increase wear to the engine. A rich mix will result in the opposite. Try using it on the fuel tank to affect fuel mixture. Go ahead and drop it when you're done with it. I ain't done with it. I think that's still a lean mixture I've got in there. A bottle of water. If you use it on the water tank you installed, you can fill her with water. Go ahead and drop it when you're done with it. Excellent. Let's move to the tires. Okay. Let's go get about getting some tires on the car. So as you can see, we won't get very far without any wheels. There's a car jack in the garage. Bring it over and we can get started. So yeah, that's a lean mix. We want... There we go. That's optimal. <clears throat> you don't know more than you? No tire, but nothing more? Well, my, um, <clears throat> my ex's dad was a mechanic. He worked on trucks. And, um, <clears throat> so generally if I ever needed anything fixed on a car, I'd just take it to him and he could usually tell me what's wrong and we could either fix it ourselves or um take it somewhere because like the time the transmission went out on my car that was a pain in the ass and very expensive uh, you need to bring over the car jack and we can begin all right get the car jack lurches get the car jack <clears throat> place the car jack under the car gotcha no, just twist the handle Yes, you can now use the tire iron, but first we need to fit the road tires. Now go ahead and drop that. Fine. And when you drop it, it automatically goes over there. Why is it carrying a briefcase? Well, we'll find out. So yeah, these are just regular road tires. Their durability is solid. So they're good for dry traction wet traction on road and I can do some off made of soft compounds so they're not the best to take off road I can carry three tires I am a fucking beast <laughs> yeah, I'll just drop these here let's grab the tire iron <laughs> Just mouse wheel to change what you're holding. Over the car. All right. Here's the drugs I need to deliver. Now, see, the thing of it is, that's part of this game, is actually, you're supposed to drive places, and what you do is you can find stuff in order to make money. You can take stuff, like, across borders and sell them. Some of it might be contraband, and so you need to be careful, because maybe Border Control Patrol checks your car. So there's, there's, the, there's the whole thing about it. 
So you can't actually carry contraband across borders. Now we'll see how she runs. I'll be in the car. You may want to load the trunk with any spares left over in the garage. You can never be sure what you need on the road. Put that down. Car. Definitely want to take this with us. Yeah, that just goes right over there. Definitely going to want to take all this stuff with this. Definitely going to want a fuel can. We've got a little bit of oil left, so... Don't think we have anything else, though, so I think that's... everything? Right. Don't think we have anything else. So that's it. So we're going to go driving. Shut the trunk. Shut the hood. Can't seem to select the seat. There we go. Okay, before we set off, let's get you familiar with some of the important companions. Here we have the maintenance manual. We'll cover the basics of running the car. Here you will find information regarding basic overview of the like as like a vehicle details of your current engine setup, listings of cargo we're currently carrying, that sort of thing. You can turn the page by selecting the top corners of each page. Yeah, whole introduction. You but in 1957, Soviet Union, showing great strength, ambition, and perseverance, launched the first being into orbit in the Earth. <laughs> the Earth, the first being to orbit the Earth into space. Today, we proudly remember that name by enabling you to traverse the globe with your very own, like uh, your new car with its distinguished name, shall forever be faithful companion to. So there we go. We'll have a look through this later. For now, go ahead and drop that. Next, you need the map. Sweet. This one is important as it allows you to select which route you'll be taking between desti each destination. As you see, our first destination is CSFR border crossing near Dresden. I've marked all the potential routes I know of, including weather conditions and any stop-off points along the route. Go ahead and select one now. Alright, so it's going to be rainy here. This, there's something there. We don't know what. I think... I'm not sure what this is. I think this means off-road, potentially. Or does this mean highway? Not actually sure. This is the longest road, but it's got fuel along the way, and we don't have much fuel on us, so probably going to take the longest road, and it's going to be clear and sunny. So we'll take that. No spare tire? Yeah, we don't have one yet. Just over the YouTube and Twitter link, and it gave... And it gave the description, number of followers, number of videos and such. Wow, really? It does that now? Yeah, we'll take Route 3. It's the longest route, but... All right, once the route has been selected, then we're committed to driving it. And again, you can turn pages by selecting the top corners. The other pages include your statistic tracking and unlocks tracking. So yeah, so far we've traveled on foot. All right, you can have a look through that later. Go ahead and close it for now. And finally, the keys. Oh, he's giving me the keys to the car. Just pop them in the ignition, she's all yours. Alright, so I do have some things. There's my passport over there, there's my wallet. I've got a hundred bucks. Alright, guess it's time to go. They closed the trunk, right? Alright, time to go. Smoke, I didn't know that. And listen to some tunes. Alright. We're off. Hang on, I gotta check my mirrors. Yeah, no, we're good. Alright, Uncle. Here we go. So begins our journey. Head towards Dresden. You'll be traveling the Autobahns for the first part. This should give you a chance to get to grips with the Leica. 
not a fast car, let me tell you. driving I'm not even hitting top speeds yet they normally put turns in tunnels usually would have thought tunnels would have gone straight not have turns in them On the Autobahn. Merging. Got a roundabout here. I don't think this thing has turn signals. So that might be a problem later. <laughs> Don't break the walking speed limit. Ah, it's good to be on the road again. Such a long time since I traveled outside of East Berlin. Even longer leaving East Germany. What is the weather sound? Ooh, hang on, we got something here. Well, this is gonna piss people off, but I'm doing it. Hang on. Oh, that's somebody driving in the other tunnel. What do we got here? That's right, I just stopped in the middle of a tunnel. Textiles? Oh, hell yeah. Let's take these. I know, dangerous as fuck what I just did, right? Alright, we're off. This game has some weird scaling. So you're going to almost 50 miles an hour. But you're driving wheels really down the road at 25. Look at this. Look at this asshole. Go around! Oh, we'll just go around, you dick face. Fine, you can run over that pothole there. Yeah, so there's things like potholes you need to be wary of. Oh, look, he dodges the potholes. So you're new to the road, so I'll bring up speed on how this works. Travelers can only call themselves such if they remain in motion. To achieve this, we must learn to live off the fruits of the road present us. So yeah, I like that box of stuff I found. Petrol station if we turn off here. So yeah, let's do that. Be a good idea to stop for fuel. Wait, here? Okay, yeah, we'll pull up here. Oh. Oof. I guess that was bad of me to do. May not have been good on my tires to pull off the road. So I can just carry a full on box. I don't even have to open the darn thing. So I don't think I can fit it in my trunk. Yeah. But I can open it. Medicine? Oh, good lord. This will sell good, because look at that. Sell value, 13.3. Buy value, 
17.8. And we're going to a gas station where we can sell this stuff, so. Yes, gas stations will buy this stuff. There we go. So of course you have limited trunk space. So you can't always carry everything you see. Driving like grandma, granny moon. Got a big I've got a big trunk. My trunk is the envy of, of the world. You can actually lower the window. Well, we'll drive with the window down. So as you can see, I'm almost half on fuel, even right now. pull up to the gas station because I got stuck in the car at one point. I think though. Alright uncle, I'll be back. Someone else coming in? No, oh, someone's driving by. I think I can take the stuff out if I take a box. So I can carry it all at Yeah, okay good. Instead of carrying because I can only carry three things at a time. Textiles. I put them in as I can. It seems pretty random what you get too, because even though this is kind of the tutorial stage, I had different things last time, so. Right, so we can go sell this stuff. Oh, I need to go get my wallet, by the way. Hey, Dead Mouse! How you doing? Never forget your wallet. Especially if you ever have to get out and walk and go find a gas station. Never forget your wallet. There we go. Hey there, you look a little lost. Just pick whatever you need off the shelves and place it through this window. When you have everything you need, you can pay by using your wallet. So never forget your wallet. that just made 121 bucks can actually put the box back so I guess I'll just drop it oh, now I got 211 pull that lever to cancel the transaction but I actually need fuel so we'll go get fuel in it. Okay, I'm gonna try something here because I couldn't get this to work last time. Apparently you can add oil directly to the fuel. But I couldn't get it to work last time I tried. Two-stroke oil on the can to increase the fuel mixture. Oh, it also might be because I haven't paid for it. That's right. So, once I've bought something, they close me in. I can't get out. 
Uncle, I need my wallet. Thank you. You have this game but not played it in a bit? Yeah, I picked it up over the weekend. I thought it looked pretty fun, so I thought we would uh, stream it. So let's see, they'll charge me for fuel. Eight bucks? That's not bad. See, so yeah, they open the gate now. Now, can I do this now that I own the fuel? There's two stroke oil on the can to increase the fuel mixture. Yeah, see? I mean, the can's not even full yet. It kind of weirds out sometimes. I feel like just sent my wallet back to the car. We'll fill up the tank as well. But I had some trouble getting this to work proper. Like now, see? Now, I can't seem to select the thing. It doesn't work for some reason. So now I've got lean oil, but... Yeah, I can't... Don't pull that out. Do that. Yeah, there we go. Optimal oil mix. I think. Yeah, I think you have to do that first. When you pick it up, of course. Now there's nothing here. I wonder if I can sell this thing. Is that just junk? Wow. I can sell this. There you go. <laughs> I'll get a dollar. That's for recycling, I guess. So, yeah, we'll buy some two-stroke oil. I gotta go get my wallet. Hang on. We'll fill up this gas tank all the way. One minute. Put this back in the car. And quit putting my wallet back in the car. Well, now, this is stuff you can buy, textiles. So I could take this and possibly go sell it somewhere else. So I could buy those textiles for cheap and then maybe go sell them somewhere else as long as they're not contraband, which actually I don't think I hit a border between here and where I'm going. So I could, I could buy some uh, textiles. because oh, I'm trying to put my wallet in there. There we go. Russia was famous for recycling. Okay, so we got... We got enough water for now. We're not in a bad spot for water. We should probably get a repair kit, because... buy off-road tires, buy regular tires. buy wet tires that are better for the rain. Our repair kit. Let's buy an engine repair kit. Let's get a crowbar. Because I've encountered one before. I encountered a locked box one time before, but I didn't have a crowbar to get it open. Looks like they added more content. Yeah, um, at least when I picked it up, this is called the Uncle update, so Uncle's with you. Okay, that fits right there. So we've got some space for some stuff. So I've got a car repair kit. Should probably buy a tire repair kit, but I think we'll be okay for now. So yeah, you can buy stuff. Buy medicine. That's gonna be too expensive though. I can buy this for extremely cheap. Let's buy a couple textiles. 
So I just sold them textiles. We'll take these and sell them somewhere else. Alright, anything else? I think we're okay. Oh, they got more. I didn't see that box. We'll go get well, we'll leave them. That's fine. We got everything we need. We'll find stuff along the way. There used to, there used to be just one repair kit for everything. Uh, yeah, there's the engine repair kit, which uh, repairs everything in the car, but apparently now tires have their own repair kit, so... My tire's looking. looking. Okay. So these are made of soft compound. Now maybe... Well, I can afford... Let's check, because I haven't really looked at tires much. So maybe there's... Because these are off-road tires. These are hard compound road tires. Tires designed to perform best on dry road. Oh, they're... They're dry tires, okay. Actually, no, these are... These are medium compound, and these are hard compound. I actually do need to bring a spare tire with me. I've got the money. I know I need to save like 20 bucks, but... Let's buy a spare tire. We don't have one. There. There you go, my wallet. Because I keep putting it away like a doofus. I mean, I'm, I started this with a hundred bucks, so I mean... I'm still... At 128 bucks, I'm still coming off with a profit right now. There we go. Now I got a spare tire. Sweet. I should probably close the hood. Night time, let's roll the window up. Let's turn our lights on. It doesn't like me going off road like this. Ooh, yeah. Away we go. Well, that's a hell of a turn right there, Jesus. Oh, Bunko. Now, of course, because I'm carrying so much more stuff. Oh god, this hill. Because I'm carrying so much more stuff, not only am I weighed down more, but I also can't fill my trunk as much, so. Yeah, there's also until I have to pay the border guard, but I don't think I hit the border guard between now and... The map is a bit different when I did this the first time. So it does seem like they're kind of randomly generated, like procedurally generated, I guess. Tank, full tank of gas. Fruits of the road come in many forms. An abandoned car could provide us with much needed replacement tires. Or perhaps a crate at the side of the road will allow us to trade fuel. Whatever you need, she will provide. Oh, that's a pothole right there. We just need faith. Oh, there's a lot of potholes on the road. You need to avoid those because those are damage the tires. So yeah, it is procedurally generated because this route's different than before. Eh. 
does not like to make it up the hill. Looks like there is a box up here in there. Let's go check it out. We played with one of the upgrade engines? No. Just to start. Park it here. I'm even going to turn the lights off to make it more dangerous. What we got? Medicine. Oh, they were actually in that lane that time. So I think you can pick up a whole box and then maybe it's... I don't know. Is it safer to like take it across the border if it's in the box already? Because then they can't see it. Alright, well. Back on the road again. Don't have my headlights on. all over the road. Are you noticing the changes in scenery? I'm entering what's known locally as the Black Triangle. I'm just all over the road. Oh dear, the car's smoking. Ah, damn it, I hit that. find somewhere to pull off. Fix this. Oh shit. Ooh, I dodged that. Jesus, this part of the road. Oh, there's also something on the side there. People will pull up behind me and not be able to. Oops. Don't you pull behind me! You motherfucker! Hey! Get out of your fucking car! You just fucking hit me! Asshole. Could have gone around. I know my lights aren't on. Maybe I'm a maybe I'm in trouble, huh? Yes, everything. I gotta fix my car, asshole, but instead you hit me. You gonna help me? You gonna call the authorities? No, I didn't think so. There we go. My car is all fixed. Asshole. I'm just gonna take my time now. You know what? I'm just gonna pick up this box. I'm just gonna take it with me. There we go. Shut it. Look at that guy, Uncle. He's sitting back there. Well, there ain't nothing wrong. Guess maybe I could have turned my hazards on. I think about it. Just because it's my fault doesn't mean it's my fault. No, you're just gonna have to stay behind me. It's upsetting to see. All the pollution here caused by industrialization. It wasn't this way when I first passed through the region. 
hit that pothole, you asshole. Hope your engine cooks. What a dick. What an absolute dick. That guy. Trying to avoid those two potholes, and I slammed into the, the windshield. Just take some damage. Looks like it did. The windshield took a bit of damage. That's not good. Wow, we're going up in. Gonna pick up the box, see if it fits. Will it go in? No. Oh, we got some textiles. Sweet. <laughs> Must have been American. Ah, what a bastard. This is pretty cool. It is completely randomly generated because this this is still like the tutorial mode, but this road's different from what I ran the last time when I was when I was practicing the game to try to get good. Figure out what I was doing. Half a tank of fuel left, but we've got a full tank in the trunk. So we doing all right. Remember, once we're in Dresden. Use us staying in the town to your advantage. Sell tradable goods at the market and use that money to buy repair kits and fuel. If we make enough money from trade, we can even visit the like a dealership to upgrade the car. Good, because we probably need some better parts. I'm just all, I'm just all over the road. potholes this time around. <laughs> Oil slicks. They just get your windshield messy, I think. I guess so. Yeah, as I was saying over this weekend, I actually, um, because Dark Omen brought it to my attention that apparently Fortnite's Battle Royale is actually free. So, um, downloaded it this weekend. Played a few rounds of it yesterday. Uh, there is Dresden in the distance. Head for the motel. Let's get rest and cross in the CFR tomorrow. So yeah, I played it. I quite enjoyed it. I'm not very good at it at all, but, um... At one point, I played it 
I played some squad with my girlfriend, so it was just two of us against other teams, but I um, managed to survive with like eight other people left alive, so not bad. I found it quite I found it quite fun. I've never played a battle royale game before, so I mean again, it's a bit rough around the edges. But I like to say, oh, my car's smoking again, what the fuck? Hell. We're smoking again. Is this the hotel or is this the oh this is the dealership now? Where's the hotel? Last time I was here that, that was the hotel. Remember where that is, though, because we might be able to head back to it. Well, that's leaving town. Where's the hotel at? I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Oh, there it is. There's a motel, park outside to the front. I'm sure that's fine. There we go. Okay, good. Let's check in. In a minute, Uncle. Really? Carburetor needs fixing again. So does the engine, and so does the fuel tank. No, the fuel tank's fine. Air filter's busted. Get another kit at some point. Is that the gas station over there? Eh, uh, anyway. We'll go in for the night. You'll be staying with us tonight. It's 20 for the room. Download, but you forgot. This weekend I had over one million people playing. Really? Motel went up in price. At least it's been 20 since I started playing, but again, you've probably played it since it was older. So yeah, it's 20 bucks. Alright. 1A just down the hall. Thank you. We kindly ask you not to disturb the guests during your stay. We'll see about that. This is quite funny. I'm trying to sleep in here. Nobody's there. Really? Please go annoy someone else. Oh, it's not gonna work this time. Oh, that's so unfortunate. So basically, what I've been able to do in the past is, um, or the last time I did this, is you could knock on people's door and some people would think you're hotel staff and they'd slide a 20 under the door. Last time I did this scenario, I made 40 bucks. <laughs> This air is so laggy. Alright, there's still some time for you to see the town. You could visit the market to trade or upgrade the car at the Lycus dealership. Just use the bed 
when you're done for the day and we can get some sleep. Anyway, I'm exhausted. Time for bed. Oh, yep. There, it popped open this time. Used to be five a night. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Highway robbery. 400% increase. Uh. Yeah, now I can read what Uncle's talking about here. In response, okay. Werther Luffy. Uh, in response to your request for the acquisition of one Lanka 601 motor vehicle for the purpose of transportation of personal property to be returned to their country of origin placed on the date of 1202-1986, we can now inform you that we are unable to approve or support the request on the grounds that the government be that government vehicles are not to be used for transportation of private property, especially to countries outside of fraternal socialist observation. Furthermore, we are compelled to remind you that all communications with countries outside state sphere of influence are thoroughly monitored and as such uh, must ask all comrades exercise constant vigilance with regards to delicate information that they find themselves in possession of. What's the date on this? Because the calendar back home said it was 1990. This says the request was made on 1986. So, is this just an old telegram? Or what's the deal with that? So, yeah, wow, that many, that many people were playing uh, Fortnite Battle Royale. I found it fun. It was a bit to get used to. I mean, I died a lot in the beginning. <laughs> but um, I enjoyed it. I'll probably play some more of it at some point. Seemed quite enjoyable. Well, I guess we'll go check out the marker. I got some stuff to sell anyway. Hello. Not leaving. My car's smoking. Uh, let's just take the box. I guess this is the market over here.